This is the TrackBot with the 24 inch arm and it comes with the OCU. The OCU has the 9 inch monitor, a video receiver, a DVR with a SD card and the radio. And this is set up so that you can plug everything in using uh, AC adapters. The first thing you want to do is unpack everything and make sure everything's here. The camera is wrapped separately to protect it during shipping. Simply remove the packaging and this lens cap and slide it into this camera mount. There's a little yellow line here which indicates the top. And slide it up to about quarter inch uh, exposed through the front. And just tighten it using this little Allen set screw. Just enough to hold it in place. This is the TrackBot with the arm. This is a 24 inch arm. And it includes a uh, pan tilt camera. The camera is mounted into this housing with two LED lights. The lights are turned on with the radio. This is the tilt mechanism. And the pan servo is back here. And this is the uh, elbow servo. And we have a linear actuator on the bottom which activates the shoulder. This is the 50 foot tether. And on one end you can see there are two male uh, power plugs. Uh, one's labeled bot and it gets plugged in the bottom. The other one's labeled cam or camera. It gets plugged in the top. To keep these wires from being pulled out, I use some of these wire ties that are included and simply secure the wires to the back handle. Like so. There are two adapters, AC wall adapters for the platform. This one's labeled CAM and the other one is a 12 volt supply for the bot. This is 8 amps. And you want to make sure you get the right one in the right uh, jack. So this is the extension from the 50 foot tether and just plug in the CAM power plug into the CAM jack. And likewise the bot power supply into the bot jack. On the other end of the power supply you may need an adapter like this. You simply plug a grounded adapter into a grounded plug or an ungrounded adapter into an ungrounded plug. These are the power adapters for the OCU or operator's control unit. One is called DVR 12 volt and gets plugged into the jack or port labeled DVR 12 volt. The other one is called OCU 12 volt in and it's also labeled so you just plug it in here. This is the AC adapter for the radio so we're bypassing the battery and you can plug this in directly to the wall. And on the other end is a small plug with a tab and it goes into the bottom of the radio. There's a door that you slide open and a little slot right here. You simply plug it in tuck a little bit of the wire in and put the door back on. It looks like this when it's done properly. Once you have everything plugged in you can start up the system. Uh, turn on the radio, turn on the OCU, turn on the DVR, and hold down the power button for one second. To turn on the bot, simply throw these two switches, one for the platform, one for the camera. So now with everything powered up, you can see that there is an image in the display. Controlling a robot is very easy. With the radio, the stick on the left controls the pan and tilt of the camera, left and right, left and right, down and up. The stick on the right controls the forward motion and backward motion. And if you move it left and right, the robot responds accordingly.
the arm is controlled by these two knobs, uh, the left and the right. Uh, the left one controls the lower arm, and the right one controls the upper arm. This is the switch which controls the LEDs. Forward is on, back is off. To record the video, simply drive the robot into a position that you want to record. Hit the OK button on the DVR and it'll start recording. To stop, hit the stop button and it'll stop recording. To record stills, you would simply record a section of video on the DVR and then it gets recorded to the SD card here. So when you're done recording, you pop this out and then you can take it to your computer and convert it from a video to a still using this little card reader, plug it into any USB port.